This is Robin Bremer. Let me see. It's me. Uh oh, I burned my camera doing this. It stinks. Um, okay, this is Robin Bremer. I'm a minister. I don't lie. I went outside. I got some snow. I did this three times. This is the third time I'm doing it. And um, what I noticed is the stink. Okay, and I, and, uh, well, let me just show you. Here, I'm going to burn. Let me pull it out here further. Burn some snow. And look at that. One guy said that the reason that it turned black was from the gas from the propane, brutane or whatever it's called, uh, heat. So, and torches and so on. So I, what I'm doing is I'm using a match so that there can't be no reason for somebody to say anything else. And look at that. It turned black and it did not melt. There is no, there's no water underneath there at all. Okay, if I let it set, it seems to melt. But if I try to, try to melt it with the match... It just turns black and seems to uh, go like a, uh, it actually it turns my camera black too. Look at that. Look at that. Now when have you seen snow do that? Okay. Now let me take the camera. Look. Look it. Is there any water there? Do you see any water? Not a drop of water. Just my, my hands. Look at that. Where is it? There it is. Look at that. Black. Black. Now you tell me that the government is not doing something. There is not some kind of chemical in our environment. And you can see the heat from my hands and the house is melting it like normal snow or it wouldn't melt and go away when the sun shines. But when you hold heat to it, what it does is it turns into this black stuff and it Oh, smells really bad. Now, you know, even if it had water dripping from it like it does right now from the heat of my hands, the heat of the sun like it norm snow would normally melt, when you hold a match to it, there is absolutely no way that it should turn black like that. And, and even if there was a reason it turned black, there is absolutely positively no way that it would smell like burning plastic. And it smells like burning plastic. I, I dare you to do this experiment at in your own home. Now you can see in my dish here, you can see it is melting from my hands. It is melting from the heat of my hands and from being in my house. But when you hold heat under it, it's not melting. If, it, if, it, if they, I heard this lady, and see that black is coming off now. Now I heard this lady talk about it and I'm going to post it on my site again, on my Facebook account. And she said that about particles and I don't know, I'm just going to post it there for you. But I believe that there is something chemically done to alter the snow. I definitely would not eat it or feed it to my kids with vanilla and sugar like we used to when we were kids. Because this is not real snow. This might be real snow with particles of something else. See, this is the burn section. It's just, it's just not right. It should not smell like that. It is just amazing. So, my name is Robin Bremer. Dot net is my website. Uh, check it out. I talk about walking God's supernatural presence and power. And you know, people with stuff like this happening, with secrets in the government and weird stuff happening in the weather. I mean, this is, I can hardly, I can't even break this apart now. It's so, ba wow, this is weird because it, it, it is so tight together that it's really hard to, I can't break it apart except if I use my nails. That's weird. But with the, uh, Weird stuff happening like this, I tell you, it's time to get in God's supernatural presence and power and really, really see what the kingdom of God is all about and, and um, just learn how to operate in the supernatural because this stuff is going to get worse and we're going to be the light. So, um, there you have it. RobinBremer.net.